what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel look at this nice and beautiful question on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says find the value of x for which the square root of x minus 5 plus the square root of x plus 2 is equal to 7. Well, our first step will be for us to take the square of both sides. So for the left hand side, I have the square root of x minus 5 plus the square root of x plus 2. I'm going to be taking the square of the left hand side equal to I'll also take the square of the right hand side. Now notice that the left hand side is of this form a plus b all squared. And this can be expanded as a squared plus 2ab and then plus b squared. So let's expand this like this. So we have the square root of x minus 5 squared plus 2 times the square root of x minus 5 times the square root of x plus 2 and then plus the square root of x plus 2 squared. So we've been able to expand this like this. And this is equal to 7 squared is 49. Now notice that square can cancel off the square root, leaving behind x minus 5. Plus, now what I have here, since I have a square root here, multiplying another square root, these two values inside of the square root can be multiplied inside a single square root so this is two now write a single square root and multiply these two values so this is x minus five times x plus two plus now square can cancel off the square root leaving behind x plus two and this is equal to 49. Our next step will be for us to add up like terms. So we have x plus x, making it 2x. Now, negative 5 plus 2, that's negative 3. And then plus 2 times the square root of x minus 5 times x plus plus 2 and this is equal to 49 our next step will be for us to move 2x and negative 3 to the right hand side so that we have 2 times the square root of x minus 5 times x plus 2 to be on the left hand side equal to 49. So as negative 3 crosses to the right, it becomes plus 3. As 2x crosses to the right, it becomes minus 2x. Our next step will be for us to simplify what we have on the right hand side. So we have 2 times the square root of x minus 5 times x plus 2 to be equal to now 49 plus 3 is 52 then minus 2x now notice that from the right hand side 2 is common so we have 2 times the square root of x minus 5 times x plus 2 to be equal to now factor out 2 because 2 is common so we have 2 out so 52 divided by 2 that's 26 
minus and 2x divided by 2 is x. Our next step will be for us to divide both sides by 2. So I'll divide the left hand side by 2. I'll also divide the right hand side by 2. Now 2 here can go with this 2. And this 2 can go with this 2. Leaving behind the square root of x minus 5 times x plus 2 to be equal to 26 minus x. Let's move forward. Now our next step will be for us to get rid of this square root. And to do that, we need to take the square of both sides. So for the left hand side, I have x minus 5, which is the square root of x minus 5, times x plus 2. I'm going to be taking the square of the left hand side equal to, I'll do the same to the right hand side. So for the right hand side, I have 26 minus x, and I'm going to be taking the square. Now notice that square can cancel off square root, leaving behind x minus 5 times x plus 2 to be equal to now expanding this i have 26 squared which is going to be 676 now 2 times 26 times negative x i'm going to be having negative 52x and then negative x squared is plus x squared now our next step will be for us to expand what I have on the left hand side. Now x times x is x squared. Now negative 5 plus 2, that's negative 3x. Then negative 5 times 2 is negative 10. That's a shorter way to expand what I have here. Equal to, now I have 676 minus 52x plus x squared. Now notice that x squared from here will subtract this x squared from here, so they cancel out. And our next step will be for us to move negative 52x to the left hand side. So that we have negative 3x already on the left, but when negative 52x crosses to the left, it becomes plus 52x. I'm going to be moving negative 10 to the right hand side. But before that, I've already got 676 six, six, on the right. So I'm going to be writing that fix. So 676. Six. So as negative 10 crosses to the right, it becomes plus 10. So this leads up into negative 3x plus 52x, that's 49x, to be equal to 676 plus 10, that's 686. Our next step will be for us to divide both sides by 49, since it is a coefficient for x. So divide the left hand side by 49. Also divide the right hand side by 49. Now notice that 49 can cancel off 49, leaving behind x equal to now 686 divided by 49, that's 14. So this is the value of x. So let's check. So check. The original question were given the square root of x plus 5. Now that's negative 5. So I'm going to be using negative here. Negative 5 plus the square root of x plus 2 to be equal to 7. Let's see if we're going to be having 7. Now the square root of the value of x we have is 14 minus 5 plus the square root of 14 plus 2 and this is equal to 7 
Now, 14 minus 5 is 9. So this is the square root of 9 plus the square root of 14 plus 2 is 16. And this is equal to 7 on the right-hand side. Now, the square root of 9 is 3 plus the square root of 16 is 4. And this is equal to 7. So you notice that 3 plus 4 is 7 on the left, which is the same 7 on the right, making 14 to be the accurate answer. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. Like I always say, until next time, take care.